All right, so this is a suggestion via donation. The name of the video is When Good Cops Stand Up to Corrupt Cops. Oh, let's get it. Let's check it out. Let's jump into this immediately, guys. Okay. The sheriff, you need to back up out of my face, sir. Oh. You have no authority. You're not going to tell me what to do, my uh, it's strange to relax. see how often ego comes between the duty of a police officer and even forces them to turn on against their fellows. Yeah, probably often. Today we'll be looking at three Kinda. such instances where a cop turned against their fellow officers. On the 30th of January 2024, a Lexington police officer spotted a vehicle going way beyond the speed limit. He quickly initiated a traffic stop and pulled the guy over. However, as he reached out to him, he was surprised to find out who he was dealing with. Hello. Are you sure? Are you going to this walk call out? Okay, sir. Just pull your. Could you do an eighty-five and a fifty-five? I was going. Going where? Call out. Where are we going? Your SWAT call out right over oh, here. I didn't know we had one. We oh. have an armed guy barricaded in the house. He used to be a police officer. And where at? Right down here on. Here in Lexington. Yeah. We have an armed person, but we, we don't know about. It. The individual caught speeding was a Cleveland County Sheriff, Chris Amazon, who was hurrying to a SWAT call. Surprisingly, the Lexington Police Department were unaware of this situation. That, yeah, but, is, but is it true? That's when the officer went over to contact the police chief inquiring about the situation. All right, I'll call my chief and let him know. Real. It's not true. One next. According to the Cleveland County Sheriff, we have a posse situation at that location. Oh, did he just pull off? Moments later, the Lexington police chief, Ronnie Johnson himself, appeared on the scene as he seemed visibly upset for being kept unaware of the incident. Soon, he was about to let out his anger. Captain Tom? Captain Hawk? Yeah. We realize that I'd like to know what's going on in my own city. We would have notified you, sir. We would have? Yeah. Well, hold on. Oh. I've been at the city. I've been down there with the PD the whole day. Right. Well, according to the call, yeah. it says Lexington was notified they refused to respond before the hell call. Okay, I don't know who the said that. First of all, sir, I know you're the chief. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just telling you, I don't appreciate. I don't appreciate all of this going on, and nobody knows about it. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. What's your name? As the chief vented out his frustration. Asking for his badge number also. Deputy Sismonski attempted to interject, which the officers didn't like and went over to confront him. Sir, I am too. You're not going to talk about chief like that, sir. That's not going to happen. You can get the out of my face. I don't give who you are. Okay? This is my county, too. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. You don't. This is going to be good. According okay. to the call, you need to stop. Lexington PD is not Chill out, out. back no, up, no, everything's going to be okay. But you need to back up. I get it that you're no, them, you can back up. Negative. But. What even happens in scenarios like this? Guys, this is juicy. Deputy Sismonski didn't hold back and had no respect for his compatriots. He then right, proceeded none. to do Zero. something which escalated the already tense situation. This right here ain't We're not going to be respectful. Okay. Sheriff, okay. sheriff, you need to back up out of my face, sir. You have no authority. You're not going to tell me what to do, my You're not going to get in my sheriff's face. Just like you told me. Your hands off me, man. Back up, John. Pull him back. Bro, this is like, 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 we watched a documentary a while ago on, on a channel, maybe like a year ago, on like interpersonal relationships within like gangs. And that kind of reminded me of something very uncomfortable. I don't want to make the comparison, but that right there, you're not going to get into my sheriff's. Bro, I'm sorry. Is he good? Never mind. Oh, no, he Even just came up to my face and said the same. Stop. He's Stop. Oh yeah, perfectly clear. Perfectly clear. Come on. Let's run that. I want that lieutenant's name. Fuck, put his hands on me. 
and badge number. Get the badge number two. Following the altercation, Chief Johnson and the officer decided to depart the scene, leaving the incident to the sheriff's department. Johnson later came on media to assert that this wasn't the first instance the Cleveland County Sheriff's Office kept him out of the loop. The Cleveland County Sheriff's Office also took notice of the sad incident and released a statement where they expressed remorse over the incident and also attempted to provide a context for the actions of their deputy. We can only Please. hope for an honest investigation, but given that the investigation is being held within the department, our ex- Oh, we already know. Expectations for a positive and just outcome are limited. However, this wasn't the first time there was a dispute between police officers and sheriff deputies, as this one inside a jail was even more intense. Let's go. Them, them goddamn supervisors can I understand. Fix I get, I so get that. The I get that. So I can get the out the way. On July 16th, 2022, several Columbus police officers arrived at the Muskogee County Jail with their detainees, only to find out that they were not welcome inside. A day ago, the jail run by the Sheriff's County office decided to change the first come first serve policy and instead decided to book deputies prisoners, then state troopers, and then the police officers. The officers, however, without any prior knowledge of this fact, were left stranded outside the building. Hey, Snipes, they're still denying us. God bless America. They won't let us in. You're right. Bless America. Ain't that right? Nah, you go in there before us, I'm gonna raise hell. Watch this. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm gonna file a, I'm gonna file a complaint. A legitimate complaint. Am I look good? Mean yeah, bun, go at home. Oh. Out of there. Uh, Central, SB1, please. Lieutenant Nestor about to get a complaint. 100%. That is the most unprofessional thing I've ever seen in my life. Hey. As a sheriff's deputy arrived on the spot, he straightaway cut the line and went inside. The officers, who were already pretty tense, were agitated seeing this behavior, prompting another deputy to come out and explain everything. Wait, wait a minute. Oh. Don't yell it. Don't start yelling. Hey, come on. Come on. Right, I'm gonna file a complaint. That's fine. That's fine. Good, how are you? Tell Y'all have directors, I have directors. Sheriff says ain't nobody coming in, only five at a time. S O N G S P has priority. So GS or S O has priority even though. GSP and then you guys. I mean this is beyond my control. I don't have any so don't yell at me. Alright. Yeah, bro, I'm sorry, the last one was definitely more hectic. As soon as that last one gets cleared, I'm going to bring it five. Hey, yeah, unless another SO unit shows up. This is not my decision. Every officer from the Columbus Police Department was extremely upset on this behavior, and they also made sure to let their feelings know. Because I'm about to have, I'm about to have a stroke. I mean, it's not good, but the other one was definitely more hectic. This is a failure of justice. The jail does not like us, so we have five people sitting here outside waiting. That's wonderful. The sheriff is very pissed with us, okay? And he runs the jail, so. Amidst this, one of the officers parked his car in a manner that blocked the deputy's vehicle who had cut them off earlier. Now, this behavior was said to trigger the sheriff deputy who was extremely flustered. Wait, man, wait, wait. Them, them goddamn supervisors can I understand. Fix I get, I so get that. Get that. So I can get the out the way. Oh, they're being petty. All right, so, so I got a call to go to. I can't go to the call because y'all want to play stupid ass childish game. At this point, yes. tensions were escalating as one of the officers even went ahead to grab his weapon. Deputy Adkins, on the other hand, was oh, still trying to get the wait, vehicle away so he could get out of the jail premises. We may have something here. Uh, I'm gonna go get my stuff because this is getting stupid. I'm not gonna be de-armed outside of the jail. You need to get somebody. What do you plan on doing to, with this? Goddamn car, so I can get out. They want to play games. Don't let them in, so they don't want to let me the out. I hope I don't see you getting your ass on the street because I'm gonna drive the. And you can tell your goddamn supervisor and everybody else is in there. Okay. Yeah. Don't worry, bro. It's on camera. Do it. I'll see you in the car because I got a goddamn car to go to. You know what? Move the goddamn car. Huh? Don't stop for me. Don't stop for me. Yeah. 
As the Columbus police officers refused to move the car aside, the sheriff's deputies had to contact their chief in an attempt to find a resolution. I don't know, but I'm, I'm probably gonna quit. This is This is so stupid, dude. You're gonna quit over that? Back it up so we don't have to bring his ass. Listen, man, I'm only doing what my supervisor told me. I understand, I, this is ridiculous, and I, and I hate that I'm f***ing dealing with this shit. But so, you're going to have to talk to the sergeant over there. No, I'll be talking to the chief. Hey, chief, I'm sorry. You're going to charge the other cop with obstruction? All right. We got a situation <laughs> over here. We got CPD won't let our guys out. And they're about to give go to blows. I'm asking your CPD officer to back Where? up his car. And this is, he's saying that his supervisor told him not to let it. And again, no one, no one on so our side is threatening. A, we're having a tit for tat over here. Right, definitely a standoff. Hold on, hold on. Roll down your window. The situation was starting to get heated up as more and more pressure was being put on the poor officer who had been assigned to block the deputy's car. Meanwhile, additional police calls were coming in, which they kept on ignoring. Right. Uh, we gotta stop playing these guys. This is. This is retarded. Yes. I know most of us are kind of... Well, that wasn't nice of you, sir. ...at a standstill. Do I have anybody on Forest Road reference to 7511? Oh, my, in progress. Uh, eight quarters, we're all standing on the wall. Yeah. How you doing that? Who caught us here? Hey, move your car, bro. Fantastic. All right, we, I don't get who, who your sergeant is. He, hey, he's with the chief. Okay. Sergeant, sergeant, he's with the chief. He's with the chief. Sorry. Asking for his badge down. number. Yes, so go ahead and back it up. Back it up. All right. Just as it seemed the officer might cause the matter to end, the sergeant stormed out, refusing to reconcile with the sheriff's deputies. Hey, Fairbanks, no. You stay right there, man. Hey, oh, sorry. Sorry. Yeah, your sergeant over here tell him not to move. It is lock uh oh. <coughs> Chief said he's not moving. Uh, we gotta get somebody over here. We gotta put this in the Get, get off the horn. Get off the horn. Get off the horn. Get off the horn. I don't want to fight. Everybody in. Everybody in. The situation was heating up, and a supervisor had to calm his deputies down as he moved them in. Maybe the police officers seemed to have overreacted. Well, this female officer clearly had a different perspective on the matter. I try to get through, and they immediately halfway open it and shut it on me. And I hear through the, there's a deputy standing next to me on the radio. That female officer's trying to get get into the door. Do not let her in that door. Do not let any officer through that door. From PD? From, from the jailer. The jailers are saying that through their radio. So they won't even let us through the door. There's one person inside there, and now they let the sheriff, they booked the sheriff guys out, and, I, and he's like he's screaming at us to move our vehicles. They won't even let any of our guys in. They won't book any of our guys. They won't even let us in to use the bathroom, nothing. <laughs> okay, so obviously this is coming from someone extremely high up. If this is happening, if they have the the power to do this to other police officers, and this is obviously coming from like the mayor or something, right? It has to be. Who can do who can do this? And uh, literally force the cops out and then say, "Listen, block all their cars in." What kind of pettiness is this, bro? All right. This is the. I think this is where. This is it. This, like, is, this, this is, is it. This is as bad as it can get. Like, you can't principle someone's crime, man. It appeared that the jail, which came under the jurisdiction of the sheriff's office, might have gone against the police officers, as they were visibly upset by the treatment. This guy's got a call. But then my sergeant's telling me not to move. Right. I have this And then when I started back, and uh, he told me to stop and get him. What about arresting arrest all of them for not doing their job? All right. Yes. Okay. This is crazy. Embarrassing. Yeah. I'm going to leave. It's pretty embarrassing. The key's in there, dude. I, I really not wanting to, to be a part of a, to get charged with a crime, dude, for a stand, dude. I'm telling you right now, bro. I'm with him. I'm transporting. 
Uh, possession schedule two, obstruction, and regulated objects. All right, so far, it's all felt. All right. Get in your car before you people outside the car. The officers stood and waited oh. outside the jail for hours, but nothing seemed to work in their favor. Dejected by this behavior, they decided to take their prisoners to 6th Avenue. Man, damn, the court date and let me go to court. All CPD prisoners at the jail. Just leave me out there on the... I mean, listen, the, the, the criminals, some, for some reason, got off pretty lightly today, bro. In between the streets, between the, the building of the SO and the CPD, we'll have our meeting there. Let's have a seat. Watch your head, okay? Sad, man, they doing this shit. Watch your legs, okay? And also said he was going to ram the car, so. Oh, yeah, he said he's going to ram the car. So, I mean. He's going to pass right by us if he ever sees us getting our ass beat on the street. Rock bottom. <laughs> Eventually, the police officers had to release their prisoners with a court summit, requiring the inmates to return to court later this month. It was indeed a sad incident to view. And what's even more troubling is the fact that during this encounter, a robbery was taking place, yeah, and that's none crazy. of the officers even attempted to reach there. Later, however, the sheriff and the Columbus police chief met and set aside their differences. The sheriff also released a statement claiming that their relations are still intact, and both of them have continued to work together together to this day. Well, that was a tough night, but what happens when a police officer is caught breaking the law by his superiors? Okay, okay, so based off this last one here, I still think that the first one was a, a little bit more hectic than the second one, but the second one was absolutely crazy after we kind of got into the meat of things. Personally, you should have probably cut that down to like maybe 10 minutes, but either way, let's continue. I can't go right You're going now. Okay, well, what if I don't? We, we gonna have a problem. It all began on January 13th, 2021, when a distressed caller informed the Bossier City Police Department about a police unit being driven erratically. She also claimed that the driver almost hit the mailbox and swerved into the opposite lanes as well. Moments later, two supervisors... Oh, he was, he was, he was a little off the sauce, guys. ...advisors from the police department contacted the driver and went over to talk to him in a grocery store parking lot. Where is this at? Bossier City? So you got off five, I don't know. You got off at six o'clock today? I did. <laughs> The driver was found to be the off-duty police officer, Travis Coker. As one of the supervisors went over to search Coker's car, he discovered something suspicious. Does it, does it kind of sound like it's in his name? They caused, they caused the business. Are you taking a couple of these? No, not today. No. Not a one. Hmm. That's right. I gave that to my mom. So you think you're good to go for driving? Oh, I'm 100%. Look. No, no, I know. I, I know. And that's why I had been asleep. I was trying to get everything ready. Got home, got the kids on the school bus, met Betty. Got all that, got all that situation, just trying to pick the house up. He didn't use the description. He can't walk. So I'm sitting there waiting for Coker claimed to be completely okay and had not taken any meds that day. That's when the supervisor came back and proposed a simple test to it. But Coker appeared hesitant, signifying that he might be guilty. Oh. <coughs> what are we doing? If I hit something, it was dropping my phone. It ain't the slip. Well, listen to me. You don't have to go this route, what I just told you. Okay. I, I'm telling you, I can't do that right now. You don't have another choice. I'm telling you that right now. Officer Coker wanted to dodge the drug test, and despite the oh. supervisor's multiple requests, he remained intact. His last name is Coker, right? 
Interesting. Maybe he is that. You getting arrested. Listen to me. You're operating. I wasn't even trying to. Coker, Coker, Coker. The captain, I love you to death. But you put me in a bad, you put me in a bad spot. Captain, I'm in the only spot I can be in, man. I'm trying to take care of my family. You're going to have to go with him, okay? I can't go there right now. Coker insists it's crazy that you know that he was obviously inebriated or most likely intoxicated or you're speculating it. I do think that if it was a regular uh, citizen, they'd probably be going to jail right now. But your first response to him doing something like this is administrative leave. Bro, I think there needs to be a little bit more than that. I'm sorry, specifically if you're endangering the population, unless he somehow was more important than any of the cars behind him that are actually driving on that road back there. I definitely hope that he's not above the law, bro. That'd be terrible. Insisted that he wasn't ready for the test at that moment. However, he assured them that he'd return to the department after he paid a visit back home. But the officers weren't too pleased with his behavior. Uh, if you was in your POV, and listen, listen, I would be, listen, listen to the shot. Using your POV, we wouldn't be out here right now. I know that. But you in the city vehicle. Right. And, and it's her word again. She don't, did she got some video tape? Uh, this is not you know court. I mean? This is an administrative deal. I know that, but I'm just saying, anybody's out here, probably, like I said, if I drop my phone and run over the line, I'm not, not doubting that. Yes, sir. But I have, I have to get to, I get, give me 35 minutes. I'll come back and do that. do that. Can't do that. Can't do that. Okay, well, can I get somebody to come get me? No, no, you gotta, you gotta come with us. If you, how, if, if this, I cannot this, 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 come with this, this, you, if you refuse, we're not gonna have no choice but to put you on the show. Hey, what does that mean? That means that we have to take your gun. The supervisors even threatened to have him placed on leave if he failed to comply with them. Despite this threat, Coker remained adamant about returning home. Are you going to take the test or are you not going to take the test? I, can't, I will take the test today. I just can't take it right this second. So here's the deal to make it perfectly clear. What he's explaining to you yes, sir. And I'm is on that team. he and the captain are giving you an order. Being in patrol administration, okay, you're under their yes, command that you have that. to submit I, I to, to reasonable suspicion testing. There is, for, what, for the what is the reasonable suspicion? Look, this not but pay attention. Listen, I'm just saying, explain to me the Coker, reasonable suspicion. You're arguing. Look, I'm, not, I'm, I'm asking. Okay, Sergeant, they, they, don't worry about it. He's, he's been policing long enough. He's not a detective. You don't understand what you're saying right now. You're not going to understand what you're saying. Okay, so we just think about it. One of the supervisors reached a breaking mm. point as he was surprised right. to see the level of ignorance being shown by an officer. I'm on the phone with one of the different chiefs. He said, you got to go for being suspicious that something, you got to go. I can't go right in a second. Can you give me 30 minutes? And no, I'll, we're going to make we're gonna make sure whatever, 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 whatever your family needs are, we'll make sure those family needs are taken care of. I have to, there is, I have to take care of it. Oh, uh, he's, try, he's trying to go to the gas station really quick, get one of those detox juices, right? And drink as much of that as humanly possible within the next 35 minutes. But my mother died two weeks ago. I have a I, I, daddy that I, I didn't ask for this. Captain, I'm not trying to make your job hard. None of y'all's job hard. Ah, so you're self-medicating because you just lost your mother recently while driving a um, city vehicle. Is that what I'm hearing? Y'all know me. I mean, I'm not I mean, making mine hard because I got nothing said I had to go home and go to sleep. Am I going to go to sleep? Yeah. But I if this was a civilian, he would not have this much leeway, bro. This is too much, bro. Think that's the night thing I told you. I'm doing the, I'm juggling the best I can. The, be, the very best I can. I, I, I go to work every day. I'm there at 10 o'clock. Are you going to submit to the testing or not? <laughs> I will go to any test y'all want me to go to. In 35 just minutes. Give me just a little bit of time. Can't yeah, do that. that. At this point, it was adamantly clear that Mr. Right. Coker was just right. being dishonest as he was creating stuff. Something yeah. which he continued to do so in the next few minutes. Yeah, here we are. And, and, and you said you got family? You I do. Ticket. I got family. I'm on I my you. off day. Yeah, I understand that. But you and I are right. I am in your car, and right. which I was not driving when y'all pulled up. But you, 
But how did it get but here? It's, but it's somebody that don't like the police, Kim. I ain't, uh, is there something wrong? Bro, with come on. It doesn't matter. It does matter. It doesn't. It's not a DWI. Right, I know it's not. I ain't drink a drop. You know you're not getting back in the car to drive. Fine, I'm gonna get my stuff out of it. When? Right now. It's my stuff. I can believe I can get it. It's my personal stuff. I'm taking a chance of being terminated. I'm not saying it's gonna happen. But over what, Captain? Because right now, the way you acting, we're trying to do our job. We're trying to be something. We're trying. You all being respectful. I'm being you call this respectful? Are you going yes or no? Captain, I have an obligation at home. Or, or, I'm off. I'm not going right now. It's a yes or no answer. I'm not going right now. Okay. Can I get my no. personal stuff out of my car? And I guarantee you we can look around and everybody's broke policy. Okay. They got body cameras on? No. That's, that's against policy. Okay. Seeing the situation deteriorate and the supervisor's not granting him any leverage, Mr. Coker's... The fact that he just admitted that is troubling started to get confrontational and even rude at times listen you don't want to stand Coca. i got the keys to the car i need that money yeah you get yeah Cal, we, we gonna give my money we're gonna get, get you the money. money nobody trying to keep your money from you nobody gonna keep your money well, why can't you get it now stop, stop to stop to the front part you can get it from hey stand, stand, stand in front of me hey, so oh, 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 I'm, I'm in trouble now okay. you've been in trouble bro no what i need to stand in front of the damn thing because i said so that's what so, well, who are you to say so i I don't care if you trust me or not. What you, did. you should actually care if uh, your superior officer trusts you, uh, specifically as a uh, law enforcement uh, officer. That's fine. I don't want you to me. How about that? Well, I'm not under arrest. Okay. Can right. you grab my bucket of dips? There's no possible explanation as to why would Coker be so against the task, apart from the fact that he knew he was under the influence of a substance. Y'all treat me like shit. I ain't mad at none of y'all. I'm not treat you like anything, Coker. We, we, we had a complaint. We got to see through it. But you're hindering us from doing what we got to do. Y'all really think that I'm going to know you? Come on, man. I've got it's in your name. Like, like your last name literally kind of says a task. And you may actually be one of those, potentially. It's, it's all it's all speculative, guys. Obviously, none of my prescriptions out of the car that I have to take today, bro. I've told you, they've given you a direct order. A direct you order have to comply what? to go submit to chemical testing. Why? Uh, under what? Ground? They don't have to have grounds. Yes, they do. No, they don't. They, yes, they do. No, they don't. Did I get pulled for a rent? It doesn't matter. Sorry, then sorry, take it up with your attorney we'll and general. civil service. We'll I suggest we'll you do. What it said. I've already read it. I know. What it said. However, the officers did settle with Mr. Coker as he was allowed to call someone to pick him up and eventually leave the area. Despite this, the heated altercation between the officers showed no signs of stopping. It, it don't have to get escalated because the thing is, you're OJ here. Okay? And then you might have some car, but you don't have it. Okay, and then I'm just going to cut drive. Okay, stand where I want to. Okay. I think what I'm is that? Okay, go ahead and tell me. Don't get too close. That's what then back up on me. Right here. Okay. I'm actually to stand right there. I, okay. Don't stand right there. I'm just saying, I don't want this thing to ask you. I was going to ask you. You tell me. I'm sorry. I don't want you to get too close to me. That's what I got. You tell me how it's going to ask you. I'm hoping it don't ask you. Yes. They deal with each other so differently. But what I've seen in a lot of these videos, guys. Like officer shit. Coker put his entire career in jeopardy, but refused to go with the officers and give a simple test. It's strange how a law enforcement officer would disregard his job like this. You would have been, you would have been done. It's not not wanting to go. Okay, Captain, I, I go I, to space where you want me I, to. I, you know that. Did I, I have no hard feelings towards anybody? No. I don't know what was said that I swerved. If I dropped my phone, bro, you're gonna get all the bad hours now. I swerved over to the side. I'm sorry. I, 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 I'm kidding. I, I really am. I, I, I don't want any. They I, are going I, to retaliate. Everybody. Especially you. I, I don't want any there, and, and I have no issue with you. Right. I don't, but I have you a job. You do your job. I yes, know that I, 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 I have a job to do. And, and, I, and, and, and everything and all the sequence of events that have taken place today, 
Lord knows I hate it. Meanwhile, Coker's ride came up, and that's when he decided to make it up with the officers involved. Nevertheless, it was still strange and disheartening to witness a police officer behaving like this towards his superior. It raises the question that if that's how he is with them, how he would even behave with the general public. Right. Immovable. You get to the station. Right, keep, yeah, go ahead, tell me. I already talked to something. Coker left the area and he was immediately placed on administrative leave and an internal investigation was launched into the case. After a few weeks, the investigation found Coker guilty and he was fired from his job. Well, <laughs> that brings us to the end of our Saw video. That. Today, we got to witness three cases where law enforcement officers were fighting amongst themselves, trying to get one up over the other. It's truly disheartening to see the cops making a joke about themselves, especially in the first two cases. It raises the question of their inflated egos and asks the question of how would they fare against civilians if they weren't being respectful to their compatriots if all right guys so this last one here oh the last one was probably dude, was it worse than the first one still the first one was just super like hyper aggressive right it was just a lot of like testosterone flying around in a room guys or, or that junkyard wherever, wherever they were bro right the second one meh right it was just petty but this last one uh, Everything in me said that once he decided to walk away from the situation, he was going to be re retaliated against. And honestly, based off of his actions, I don't blame them, right? I don't blame them at all. At all, guys. But right, listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Enjoy your day thoroughly. Guys, before we go, are you guys subscribed to the other channels? Logical Movie Reviews with Mr. L. Boyd along with Mr. L. Boyd Music. Both are found in the description. Check it out.